I'm about to save you some money because it's 2024 and app subscriptions are getting out of hand. So here are some free alternatives to help you cancel some of those monthly subscriptions. First up, if you're tired of forking over your cash for video streaming services, check out Streamio on the Play Store. It's an absolute goldmine for entertainment, offering access to almost any movie or TV show out there. Simply select what you want to watch, and Streamio will display a list of platforms where you can stream it. What's more is with the right add-on, you can even stream content from additional sources. Most can be found within the add-ons tab, but if you head over to their website, you can find even more. And if you copy a link from that list and paste it into the search bar of the add-ons tab, you'll be able to install that add-on right then and there. Once it installs, you can start streaming from those add-ons too. Also, I'm not sure if you want me to continue making this type of content, so if you do, a thumbs up will show me. If there's enough positive feedback, I'll be sure to make more videos like this. Anyways, a big reason why most people pay for an in-app purchase or a subscription is to simply stop all the ads found within that app or website. But you can block most ads throughout your phone for free, and it's not even that hard. Watch this. Just head into your system settings, go into network and internet, tap on private DNS, and under private DNS provider hostname, type in dns.adguard.com. Hit save and boom, you should no longer see ads within most websites or apps that you visit. That one deserves a like. If you like more control over ad blocking, such as selecting which apps or websites remain unblocked, choosing the type of ads to block and more, consider these alternatives. The first is NextDNS. This will let you tailor your ad blocking experience without even needing to download anything. You just go to their website, nextdns.io, sign up with just an email and password, and then they'll give you a custom host name to enter into that same Android setting we discussed earlier. Then on their website, you can fine tune your ad blocking experience by selecting which block list to use for a more aggressive approach, prevent your phone's OEM from tracking you, add specific websites to the allow list to bypass restrictions, schedule times to lift the blockage for recreational activities, enhance security against domains known for malware or phishing attacks in the security tab, and even view all the blocked domains and queries in the analytics tab. It's incredibly versatile. The only caveat is that the free version limits you to 300,000 queries per month. If you need more, you can opt for the paid plan at $2 per month. Don't worry though, because most people won't need that much, but if you like a completely free alternative, then you can download Rethink. Once installed, you can simply tap on Start, and it will use a VPN to block any ads found within most of your apps and browsers. I can also monitor every app that is accessing the internet, and if I'd like, I can even block any of them from being able to access the internet. It's pretty handy for offline apps that shouldn't even need to use the internet to work, like some clock apps, offline music players, etc. There are also plenty of other great ad blockers out there like Adaway, AdGuard, and more. I actually made a video comparing all of these in the past titled Best Ad Blocker Apps on Android. If you're interested in seeing that comparison after watching this video, I'll leave that link in the cards for you to check out. If you're using Spotify Premium, you should instead turn to X Manager. You can still bounce around from track to track on demand and skip as many tracks as you'd like without ever getting a single ad. You can even make the entire app AMOLED, which looks really clean. The only thing you won't be able to do that every premium user can is download songs for offline listening, but it's still a must because it'll save you a good amount of money. If you own a Bluetooth device, such as a smartwatch, fitness tracker, headphones, or any other device, you may be able to control them using Gadget Bridge. That way you can stop using the company's closed source app, which may be tracking your data, pushing you to buy their monthly subscription, or even having you create an account on their servers. I personally use Gadget Bridge to pair my Nothing Ear One headphones. That way I no longer need to download their official Nothing X app. And I can still get access to the battery level, find the headset if I misplaced it, and even change the noise canceling settings all without the official Nothing app. Similarly, for my Galaxy Buds Pro, I can customize touch events and other settings without the Galaxy Wearable app. Gadget Bridge even supports certain smartwatches, enabling you to receive notifications, control music, track health activity, and more without the vendor's app. It doesn't work for every Bluetooth device out there, but on their website, you can see a list of all their supported devices. Moving on, one of the biggest things that I always try to keep in check is my mental health. 
and it wasn't always easy because therapy can get pretty expensive. But a great alternative is BetterHelp, the sponsor of this video, because they provide the best online therapy at an affordable cost. Personally, I've always struggled with communication. Being an introverted person, I always found it difficult to open up to others because I was always afraid of what they might think of me. In public, I used to look down at my phone, avoid eye contact, and choose to stay inside just to avoid any human interactions. But as time went on, I found that isolating myself wasn't helping at all. So I turned to therapy and let me tell you, it completely changed my life. I'm not saying that I'm the most confident person now, but with the tools that my therapist had given me, I now find it a lot easier to step outside of my comfort zone and do things that I would have never done before, like going to more social events, talking to more people, and even having a brighter outlook on life. If you're facing something similar or have other mental insecurities, BetterHelp can do the same thing for you, matching you with a therapist who understands you. And signing up is very easy. You just answer a few questions and then they'll find you the right therapist for you. You can communicate through messaging, phone calls, or video chat at your convenience. If your therapist isn't a good fit, you can even switch to another one without any extra cost. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. You can use my personalized link at the top of the description or visit betterhelp.com slash howtomen to sign up. If you're big on customization, you've likely experienced the frustration of purchasing an icon pack, wallpaper app, or widget pack only for it to stop receiving updates Bruh. after a year or two. It's super annoying. And while I can't show you alternatives for every personalization app, I can still recommend some long-standing options that are not only incredible, but continue to receive updates to this day. The first app is our How To Personalize app. We started it back in 2022 and we're still going strong and updating it every month with fresh new widgets and wallpapers. Plus, our team doesn't just make widgets or backgrounds that look boring or like they were made in a few minutes. We actually put a lot of time and effort into making artwork that is interactive, extremely customizable, and color adaptive, meaning that they match the colors of your wallpaper. For example, our latest update features space-themed designs inspired by the new Android 15 update. Each widget is fully customizable within the KWGT settings, allowing you to change the artwork to different styles. Not to mention that you can still modify the icon, color, and shading. And this isn't just for this widget. Every widget in our app is this customizable. For our walls, we're constantly releasing new ones that are handcrafted and themed, not by an AI bot, but by our hardworking team. So if you're interested, join our Patreon to access the How To Personalize app. We also offer occasional promo codes, exclusive content, and even early access to videos. A few other long-standing personalization apps that are still active and releasing new content include Pix Wallpapers. They've been around since 2020 and are still releasing Google Pixel themed wallpapers with impressive collections. Wall Fever, another long-standing app, boosts a diverse selection of backgrounds from abstract to landscapes to AMOLED walls and a lot more. True AI specializes in AI-generated wallpapers, allowing users to describe what kind of wallpaper they want to generate it, and it'll do it. However, the AI functionality is just limited to three free uses before requiring payment. Luckily, I reached out to the developer and he was generous enough to give away 160 promo codes on my Patreon. So you make sure to join there. And lastly, if you're looking for something different with a bit more character, Rosemary Walls is a great option. It gives you these 3D rendered wallpapers that make your home screen look futuristic. For widgets and high compacts, there are also some few that still stand out to this day, like Pix Material U Light Slash Dark is a favorite, offering tens of thousands of Material U icons and pixel style widgets that adjust to your wallpaper and theme. I've also been a fan of Delta icons. They've been around since 2016, so it's easily one of the oldest icon packs that's still around. They offer a pastel, minimal, flat design, though it could feel a bit dated for some people. And finally, for a different approach, consider the KWGT widget pack called Minima. These widgets are minimalistic, very eye-catching, and are even transparent to show your background. Definitely recommend. If you're on Android 12 or higher, you're likely familiar with the Mana theming, which adjusts the colors of your OS to match your background. And there are even some apps that help you modify your color palette even further. Most of you are probably familiar with Repainter, which even though it's a fantastic app, most of its features are locked behind a paywall. 
That's why I recommend you turn to this newer alternative called Color Blender. It offers similar functionality, letting you choose different colored styles, select any custom color, and if you're rooted, adjust the lightness and saturation of the background to get a stronger theme. You can also make the background pitch black instead of dark gray, and even for some apps to support monotheming if they haven't already done so. If you ever search for a basic app on the Play Store, such as a gallery app, file manager, messaging service, calendar, etc., there's a good chance you may have come across one of these orange apps called Simple Mobile Tool. And if you're not aware, Simple Mobile Tool was once highly regarded for making simple apps that were open source, completely free with no ads or in-app purchases, and didn't carry any unnecessary permissions. They were for the people, and they became popular very quickly. However, just last year, they were acquired by Zippo Apps, which isn't a good thing, because they're known to buy apps and instantly start monetizing them with ads and paid subscriptions. Some people even speculate that they include data tracking algorithms, but there's no way to know for sure since they end up going closed source. And that's precisely what happened to all these simple mobile tool apps. Their newest updates are no longer open source, they have ads all over the place, most of them you need to pay to use, and some even had their icons changed without even following that orange theme. People are not happy, so a better alternative is these apps from Fossify. They're literally made by the same original developers of simple mobile tools, and they're still following the same legacy of keeping it simple, completely free and open source, with no ads or any unnecessary permissions. While the icons are now green instead of orange, the apps function similarly with a few new features and none of the extra BS. It's pretty incredible. And although Fossify hasn't replicated every app from Simple Mobile Tool, it's a promising start. Plus, you can still find the older Simple Apps on F-Droid that haven't been modified by Zippo Apps. If you're subscribed to Microsoft Office, then you can use OnlyOffice as a free open source alternative. It works and looks very similarly and includes all the same essentials, including the regular text document, spreadsheet, presentation, and PDF form. And with no strings attached, you can use all of these without paying a single dime or even needing to create an account. I won't lie though, the mobile version of OnlyOffice isn't as user-friendly as Microsoft's, but let's be real, most of us only use these platforms on our laptops or desktops anyways. And the desktop version of OnlyOffice is just as powerful, carrying most of the same features. Now, when it comes to scanning documents, I actually found Microsoft Lens to be one of my top favorites. Unlike most of its other apps, this one doesn't require you to sign into your Microsoft account to start using it. You can start scanning immediately and access all of its features for free. Besides scanning documents, it also lets you extract text from a picture, convert a scan to any document, and even combine multiple scans into a single PDF. However, if you don't want anything from big corporate and want something that's open source, then OSS Document Scanner is my favorite choice. It may not be as feature packed, but it still gets the job done, letting you scan any document, polish them up, combine scans, and export them as a picture or PDF. Anyways, tap this video if you'd like to learn about 25 more apps that are completely free, open source, and aren't even on the Play Store. If I helped you save some money in this video, then I accomplished my goal and a quick thumbs up is all I ask in return. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!